Hi members. Yes, the monthly newsletter is back. It's been a while, been very busy over the last couple of months, but um, you'll find you'll receive a monthly newsletter every month of course, and in each month's newsletter we've decided to put in a segment called Shot of the Month. Now this month um, a few people have requested that we do bunker shots when the sand is very compact or after a lot of rain or um, a sprinklers actually run into the bunker and you find the sand is very compact. Now what you have to remember is your sand iron is actually designed to bounce off the surface. If you have a look at your sand iron, the back edge of the sand iron of the, is a lot higher than the leading edge of the sand iron. So therefore the whole, the whole concept of a sand iron is to bounce off the surface. Now we can't afford that to happen when the sand's compact. So we need to find a way to make the club hitting underneath the ball. So we have to play the shot differently to what we normally would. So if we have a look at the situation we've got here, we've got very compacted sand. We're gonna to need to play this shot differently to what we normally would. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the ball a little bit further back in our stance, probably around about the middle of our stance. Normally we play a bunker shot somewhere closer to our left heel for right-handers. So we're gonna move the ball back in our stance a little bit. We're gonna still open the club face up, but because the ball's further back in our stance, we push our hands further forward. Now, from there, what that should create is a lot steeper swing. So we're gonna pick the club up a lot sharper in our action, or use, we can use our wrists a bit more, but just feel like your arms pick the club up a bit quicker. That's gonna allow the, the club to dig into the sand and hit underneath the ball. So remember, we've gotta make this part of the club hit into the sand first, not this part. If that part hits first, we're probably going to blade the ball into the bank or right over the other side of the green. So let's try it. So we've got the ball back in our stance, weight further forward. Club face is still open, but we're going to attempt to get the leaning edge of the sand on and dig into the sand first. We're going to pick the club up very sharply, and of course you've got to follow through. Okay. Wasn't a bad shot. So got to make sure that the leading edge digs in first. So we can't play it normally as we normally would because the back edge of the sand iron or the bounce of the sand iron will ricochet the club up off the sand and hit the ball pretty much in the belly. So try that for me. Do a bit of practice with it. It doesn't happen very often but probably winter time more when the sand's very compact. Give that a try and see how it works. Probably if you've got a lob, lob wedge in your bag it's not a bad option either because the lob wedges a lot of times don't have as much bounce. Um, the only, the main problem you're going to have if you've got that sort of lie in a very deep bunker, you're going to have a few problems. But make sure, ball in the middle of your feet, a little bit more weight on your left side, and you've got to pick the club up a lot sharper with your arms and your wrists, so you can make the club hit down into the sand. Okay, make sure you follow through. We'll see you next month.